All right, folks, is Super Vegeta coming up next on Global Dokkan? I wanted to make this video under the idea that it would be happening. Unfortunately, through my research and as I was preparing to do this video, I unfortunately have to say that I don't think it will. But I still want to talk about this. And this is something that I've actually been starting to really get interested into because of the fact that I'm around, you know, various Dokkaners with 5'9 and whatnot. I'm starting to understand the appeal for why people like to speculate and look ahead based on how things have happened in the past. And I would love to share my thoughts with you guys on what I think could potentially be coming up. So feel free to let me know if you guys agree or disagree in the comments. Just be civil and respectful. But without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with what we do know about what's going on. Right now, Global and JP are currently dealing with their Dragon Ball Hero celebrations. Global is set to finish their Dragon Ball Hero celebrations a little bit later than JP. This is always how it's been. Well, not always. We've only had it like two years, but this is how it's been. Last year, last year, I think it was like three days before Global ended their stone sales, JP ended theirs, and then they jumped into their next celebration, which is essentially what's happening now because androids are coming up next for JP. And as of me recording this on the 29th, we are basically a day away from JP getting their next Dokkan Fest. But they're still going to have the hero stuff around. So what I want to do is go back in time and take a look at how things played out last year and use that as kind of the basis for why I think Super Vegeta may or may not be coming up next for Global. So last year, going into the Hero Celebration, JP was just coming off of their Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So their Stone Sails, you can basically track all this with the Stone Sails. From the 30th of October until the 18th of November, they had their Stone Sails for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which then led them right into Super Saiyan 4 Heavy Dragon Ball Heroes. So JP must have been eating pretty good at that time. Global, on the other hand, we were coming off of our Part 2 of the Thank You Celebration. I'm laughing because I just saw Super Saiyan 3 Broly, man. May that guy rest in peace. Jeez worst EZA ever. So part two of the thank you celebration last year, we didn't have any stone sales actually. The stone sales for the thank you celebration was only in part one, which went from the 5th of November until the 17th, leading us into part two, where after all of these useless banners and the Super Saiyan 3 Broly EZA, we jumped into the Super Dragon Ball Heroes ourselves. And as you can see here, the stone sales from the 19th of November until the 2nd of uh, December is when we had the stone sales. JP had it from the 19th until the 29th. So there's obviously a couple of days difference there. So what happened was JP last year jumped straight from the Hero Celebration into the Bojack Dokkan Festival Celebration where they got their Space Traveling Warriors. They also got, uh, what did they also get? They got the Chain Battle, the EZA for Gogeta. Was it, was it Gogeta? Anyway, this was the, the, I'm losing focus here. The Bojack was the focal point of the Dokkan Festival Celebration. This went on from the 30th of November until the 17th. Let's check the stone sales. Stone sales took them from the 30th of November until the 14th, after which their part two effectively was the Rising Dragon Carnival banner for the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And if those of you who are around remember, this was what Global got as well at the same exact time. We had a simultaneous Rising Dragon Carnival banner celebration, which was quite a surprise for me, but I'll never forget. This was when I did the live summon collab with Truth and Goresh. And this was probably the most painful collaboration I've ever done because I got shafted for, I think, about 2,300 stones worth live on stream where I could not get a single Super Saiyan 2 Gohan to save my life. And Goresh kept getting more and more and more. Even Truth got a couple. And I think Goresh had to stop because he had a collab coming up or something like that. If you guys remember that, let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about. But this whole theory that I'm bringing towards you guys is based on the idea that we are probably going to be getting this again this year we might be getting a simultaneous divine dragon carnival banner this year and if that is going to be happening that is the basis for this video so if if this doesn't even happen then all of this is unnecessary but i want to point out that that is going to be kind of the one anchor point that i'm kind of banking on happening so if this is how things played out last year for JP, Bojack into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, how did things happen for Global? After Global's Hero Celebration, we went into a small brief 10 day period for the Blue Dudes. If you guys recall, Blue Dudes was the next LR to drop and it was a very small celebration because we had one Dokkan clash and oh, that's it. We had some Dokkan events come back, we had some story events come back and then we also had the more characters being Dokkan Awakened. That was kind of the only other thing that happened at this time for Global. So there wasn't really much going on in this celebration, which is okay, right? But then after that, this is when the Christmas celebration started for Global. 
and then we opened up with the double raid spanner for the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So it was kind of a surprise to see after Blue Deuce to jump into something like this. Thematically, it doesn't make any sense for Global, whereas for JP, it makes a whole lot of sense because it's Bojack, who's the antithesis to Bojack, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So now, here is where kind of my conspiracy theory comes into play for this year, right? The whole thing about thematic uh, association. This year, JP is getting androids, which is Android Cell Saga and Future Saga, right? So we got Android Cell Saga looking at it right here, pretty good. Future Saga as well. They have to do kind of with both. So if their part two is going to be something along the lines of Android and Future, uh, Android Cell Saga and Future Saga, this could actually line up well with the Super Vegeta theory. Because if Global were to get the Super Vegeta campaign next, that would mean we are getting units that pertain to the Android Cell Saga. So what could end up happening is, Global and JP converge for the Dragon Ball Hero Celebration. They diverge for their own parallel Dokkan festivals. JP gets androids. Vegeta comes to Global. Then we converge once again for that Part 2 LR Summon for a unit that somewhat shares both Dokkan festivals for Global and JP in terms of theme. Android Cell Saga, or maybe Android Cell Saga, but in the future. That's kind of the only argument for the Super Vegeta coming up next, because there's unfortunately, there's a lot against this idea. The reason, the fundamental reason why this is probably not going to work out is based on timing. If you guys recall, this is a 10-day window between the end of Dragon Ball Heroes and the start of the Christmas celebration. So in this small little intermediate space, what are they going to do? Are they going to fit an entire Super Vegeta celebration in there? That's not looking too good, because if you guys recall on JP, they got this at the end of July going into August. So August 1st until the 19th or the 20th, right? The stone sales go from the 30th of July till the 19th of August. That's a 20-day window. And there's a lot going on here because we got the Super Vegeta Dokkan Festival. We got the Second Form Cell. The Legendary Vegeta event drops as well. That's a big deal. That's happening. Story events are coming back. Easy areas are coming back. They also got the Prime Battle for the Gohan. A new Dokkan Clash. Easy area or Extreme Z Battle. Chain Battle. And then, oh, look at that. We also have the Easy A for the LR Majin Vegeta as well as the Peppy Gals. That's a lot of stuff right there, a legendary summon, and then also they have their own Rising Dragon Carnival banner here with uh, Margarita and Kawe. I think that's her name, Kawe. So there's a lot happening here. It's very unlikely for them to fit all of this in a 10 day time period, I hate to break it to you. So either they strip this campaign down to its bare bones so that it fits into that 10 day window, or they push this back for something else. Now, it's obviously not inside the realm of possibility for them to tweak around with this campaign and then remove certain elements from it. Most recent example has to do with Gohan, ironically. For the Dokkan Festival Gohan celebration where we got the heavenly events Gohan and Garlic Jr., we were that was the notorious time that JP removed Super Battle Road from Global's schedule. Glo the unfortunate situation with this whole like speculation is that when we see JP celebrations, we assume that Global is entitled to get the same thing. That's just not how it works. Things get tweaked around for Global because Global schedule is always wonky with possible Global firsts, things being behind about six months. So they removed the Super super Battle Road for Global for the Gohan Dokkan Festival. So if they were to remove this Prime Battle event as well, sure, that's okay. And if they were to also remove maybe the Peppy Gals and the Rising Dragon, that's still a lot going on. And I don't think that they could fit all that into a 10-day period with the Extreme Z Legendary Summon as well as the Dokkan Festival Summon. So it really just doesn't, it doesn't seem possible to fit or basically cram all of this into a small 10-day period. It's just not going to happen. So what I think is probably going to happen for Global, since we are currently at the end of the Thank You Celebration Part 2, is we're going to get the Janemba possibly for the next one. Maybe, or maybe a Global First or something like that. I don't know. I don't want to go into too much speculation about what's going to be coming up next as far as like actual units, but it's in my estimation it would probably either be a Janemba or a Global First. So you guys can let me know what you think about that. And then one other thing to actually point out that kind of kills the Super Vegeta argument overall is this little thing that happened right here. Shout out to Air Dokkan. Air Dokkan pointed out that the end date has been postponed for the Zamasu story event that has to do with the LR Goku Black EZA, the free to play one. Let me actually pull it up. This one right here. This Goku Black right here with his EZA, all of this, this is an old unit, but that event that was needed to get the medals for this guy, that is going to be postponed. The end date is being postponed until the end of the year. 
So this could mean that there is going to be something in terms of future Saga coming up in Part 2, and Minato is basically thinking what we're all thinking. LR Merge Zamasu kind of feels like Part 2's LR. Now, this makes sense because, like I mentioned earlier, the androids have to do with the Android Cell Saga, but they also have to do with the Future Saga. And as you can see here, there are a couple different series in here. you got Z, and you've got Super. So if they were to make part one Future Saga and then part two also Future Saga, that's not that's not an egregious act. That's that's kind of sensible. It does kind of ruin the argument for people, or not argument, but it kind of ruins the the fan yearning for a decent LR Future Gohan, which kind of sucks. But you know, it still makes sense. So if that is to be believed as a sign of something to come, that kind of kills the whole thematic alignment that I was talking about before with Global and JP getting a Part 2 LR that has to do with both versions. That still doesn't mean that it wouldn't happen. Maybe, I don't know, what if we end up getting Global gets Janemba for part, for this random mini celebration, and then we randomly get another LR, which is the uh, Merge Zamasu. Who knows? Could happen. We don't know. Time will tell. Global is very funky with their scheduling, so we'll have to wait and see. But hopefully you guys enjoyed my little TED Talk on the Super Vegeta. I'm oddly proud of this video because normally, like I said, I'm not someone who really looks into this stuff. I like to just kind of go with the flow and see how things play out. But I'm trying to do a little bit more of this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed what I have to say. And that's going to be it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments. Honestly, let me know what you guys think about my thoughts on this. I would love to know what you guys think. Am I completely off base? Am I onto something? Am I crazy? Am I stupid? You know, just be respectful, but feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And then also tell me, if it's not going to be Super Vegeta, what do you want this little mini celebration to be? Assuming we get that follow-up Rising Dragon Carnival banner at the same time as JP. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And click the notification bell so that you ladies you know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to dokon responsibly and speculate responsibly.